Whenever wake up in the morning and then you're trying to find out the total cost of building your dream house, then you're faced with the problem of choosing your next building design due to you wondering in this 100 by 50 piece of land or should I build a bungalow in this 100 by 100 piece of land? Stuck in the process of choosing a building design since all of the building designs you are seeing are very very beautiful. Thirdly, when you finally choose a building design, you start wondering how much will it cost me to build this building design? Am I going to spend all my entire life savings trying to erect these buildings? I'm doing this video to shorten the inquiry time for most of my intending clients and also by educating ourselves on the current cost of building. This video will feature some of the building designs I have developed and I am also developing as I will list the features of these building designs and also their conditions to build them and the likely budget you have to build with this type of end up choosing a building design that is way more complex and do not fit their current budget. What I mean is this, you're having a budget to build a bungalow but you want to build a duplex. What this means is this budget you're having does not fit to build a duplex design. Assuming you're having a 10 million naira, you should be considering building a bungalow instead of a duplex because of the cost of materials in the country is actually really high. And it will not fit that budget to build a four bedroom. So everyone wants to have an idea of the average cost of building their next building project, but is that really possible without giving out full information to your builder? No. To try to avoid when starting out your next building project, which is this guesstimate. You do not want to guess your. So, guesstimate is a terrible way to budget for a home. So many variables involved, and then the contractor may overlook some of these details or simply ignore. So, here is what determines your next building cost estimate and what you should be expecting. So for number one, what determines your cost uh, estimate? Number one, we have uh, uh, the home appliances. How uh, big is the home appliances? Are you going to get the standard ones or the mini standard ones? Secondly, we have the paintings. Are you going to go for a higher uh, emotion paint or a lower and cheaper uh, standard of it? Then how big is your building plan? Is it too big? Is it too small? To determine the cost of building the next building project. Then we have a, how many floors do you have on the building design? What type of foundation is this going to be used in? What is the type of the soil this building is going to yeah, be? Erected? A lot of many factors. So uh, for this video, I'm going to keep it up to this. So that are the few pointers that can help you uh, guess uh, and make a rough cost estimate of the next building project. And always don't forget to always set aside the 10% to 20% of the total building cost uh, estimate so that uh, you can use it for unforeseen uh, circumstances to complete a building process, which may be due to delays and the problems you can't foresee and, and tell in the future because the building process has a lot of <laughs> chops and Whips. So since you know about what makes a building design and how it affects the owner while building it, let's look at some building designs that we have made. So let's look at some popular building designs and how much they cost and with their features also so that you already know about them first and so that you can make an easier decision for your next building uh, project. This building has an entrance porch, a living room, a guest room with bathroom and toilet, a kitchen, a dining area, a staircase to the penthouse, a laundry room, a three bedroom with toilets and bathrooms on the ground floor. On the penthouse floor, there is also two bedrooms and a living room with balconies. The two rooms are the master bedrooms and the second room. And the total floor area for this is 224 square meters. The minimum line size this building can go on is 100 feet by 60 feet, which is 18 meters by 30 meters. The likely budget to build this building is 15 million. 
This building has an entrance porch, an ante room, a visitor's toilet, the living room, the dining, a kitchen and the kitchen store, a laundry, a kitchen terrace. It has the three bedrooms with their bedrooms. It has a three bedrooms with their bathrooms and toilet. And the total land area for this is 108 square meters. The minimum land size for this is 100 feet by 50 feet, that is 30 meters by 15 meters. This building has an entrance porch, a living room, an ante room, a dining. It comes with the master bedroom with its bathrooms and toilet, also with a veranda. It comes with a lobby, a kitchen and the kitchen store. The three other bedrooms with their bathrooms and toilets with verandas. The total floor area for this is 308 square meters. The minimum land size this can go on is 100 feet by 70 feet. That is 30 meters by 22 meters. So here is some of the popular building designs we have for bungalows. We'll be making content on the duplex uh, building apartments also. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the youtube channel god bless you and take care